local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz. You'll notice here on the satellite and radar composite, no rain to speak of, not much cloud cover to speak of as well. That's good news for this evening's baseball game as the Red Sox battle the River Dogs. First pitch 705. You'll notice that first pitch temperatures will likely be in the 60s, but will fall into the 50s as we head, say, towards the 7th, 8th, or ninth inning. So overall, it does look as though we're going to be cool outside, but we're going to be completely dry out there with skies for the most part fair, although clouds are going to thicken tonight. And I do believe that we will see a little bit of sunshine tomorrow, especially the further east you go. Just know Thursday is going to have more cloud cover than what we had outside today. And we'll even have the chance for a couple of showers. Best chance for these isolated showers on Thursday will be in the NRV Highlands and Mountain Empire. Now the clouds that we do have on Thursday will break up as we head into Thursday night. And that means for us by Friday, skies are partly to at times mostly sunny yet again. We're going to close out the work week very, very nicely. I do want to show you temperatures outside right now. You're in the 50s and 60s out towards the New River Valley. 64, a pretty popular number in Roanoke, Lynchburg, and also into Martinsville. 63, Covington, and also into Lexington. We have flipped the switch. This morning, the overnight low in Roanoke was 33. Some folks got down to the upper 20s. That explains a freeze warning. That explains the frost that we saw outside this morning. But look, by Friday afternoon, temperatures are back into the upper 70s and lower 80s. Which means with the rain that we have seen this week, perhaps your grass has grown a little bit. Monday was certainly a very damp day, and if your grass needs to be mowed, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday look like great days to do it. We're going to be quite warm, but we're going to be dry with our fair share of sunshine all three days days for tonight. Not as cold as last night, but still pretty cool outside. No matter how you slice it overnight lows 41 to 47 as clouds thicken. Your three day zone by zone forecast showing perhaps one of the higher chances for a couple of showers tomorrow lying in the New River Valley. I think as we head into Friday and Saturday, you're dry. Could have a couple of showers also in the Highlands as we head into Thursday. Late Friday into Friday evening, a stray shower cannot be ruled out in Highland and Bath counties, but Saturday in the Highlands, you are dry. South side, you're dry all three days with a little more sunshine happening for you as you head into Friday and Saturday. Tomorrow, I think you'll squeeze out a little bit of sun, but for the most part, tomorrow in Danville, South. Boston, Martinsville, you're going to have more clouds and sun around. For Lynchburg, lower 70s Thursday, 80 Friday, lower 80 Saturday, middle 80s on Sunday and Monday, falling to near 70 one week from today. And across from Roanoke Valley, a stray little rogue shower can't be ruled out Thursday, but a better chance for some scattered showers. Even a couple of thunderstorms will happen for us on Tuesday. That's all because of a cold front that will be swinging overhead. That's really our next big weather maker to watch as we head into next week.